Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. And this session, we will be discussing about Python programming, especially for the beginner biotech and bio IT students and researcher. We will try to understand the Python programming, its concepts and application, very particularly in the bioinformatics sector. And along with that, what is the significance of BioPython in the areas of bioinformatics? And this session, we will also try to look for the research project ideas using Python, especially for the beginner bioinformatics and biotech students and researchers. So let's get started. As you know, Python programming is a versatile and a widely used high-level programming language that has gained immense popularity in the field of bioinformatics. It serves as an excellent choice for both beginner and expert due to its simplicity, readability and the extensive library options. So, let's first understand what is Python programming. Python is a dynamically typed, interpreted language known for its elegant syntax. It offers a broad range of data structures, libraries and frameworks. Python is preferred in bioinformatics for its ease of use and vast community support. As broad applications include data analysis, visualization, scripting and also in the machine learning very particularly, if you want to see the application of bioinformatics, Python is used in sequence analysis, structure biology, phylogenetic and taxonomy, and many more. For example, it can be employed to analyze the DNA sequence, predict the protein structure, and also to identify genetic mutations. And if you want to learn at the foundation level the Python programming, especially if you belong to biology background, then you can also join our courses. Now let's move to the BioPython. And what are the significance of BioPython in bioinformatics area? BioPython is a specialized library that extends Python capability for bioinformatics tasks. It offers modules for sequence analysis, structure biology, phylogeny and taxonomical analysis, etc. BioPython simplifies bioinformatics workflow by providing ready-to-use functions and data structure. It also enables researcher and data scientists to perform complex analysis efficiently. BioPython can be used to analyze the gene bank files, align the sequences, compute the evolutionary distances and also visualize the phylogenetic tree. You may also explore BioPython further by subscribing to our channel. We have already uploaded few past tutorials and in the upcoming session also we will be providing you tutorials and demonstrations related to BioPython. So stay tuned with the channel. So now let's explore some of the bioinformatics research projects which you can do by using Python and especially at the beginner level. So the number one is genome annotation. This kind of project can be utilized for identifying the gene and also for annotation which is a fundamental in genomic research. And doing such kind of project, following steps can be utilized. First, you have to obtain the genomic sequence data you want to annotate. You can find these data on the publicly available genomes databases like NCBI. Then pre-processing is required. Clean and format the genomic data by removing the unnecessary information. The next is gene prediction by using the tools like Augustus or GeneMark to predict the gene location in the genome and then you can do the annotation. Annotate the predicted gene with the information about their function using database like Uniprot or Interproscan. And for running such kind of project, you will require BioPythons for data analysis and manipulation, Augustus, GeneMark and relevant databases like NCBI, Uniprot and Interproscan. The next project can be done on protein structure prediction. Predicting protein structure is a crucial part of understanding their functions and interaction of protein. So for doing such kind of project, you will be requiring tools like BioPython, PyRosetta, some of the deep learning libraries like PyTorch and following roadmap you can utilize for doing such kind of project. The number one is data collection. Firstly, gather the protein sequence data for the target proteins you want to predict at the structure level. Then you require to do feature engineering, extract the relevant feature from the protein sequence such as secondary structure prediction and solvent accessibility. 
then model training will be required. Use libraries like Pyrocita or Deep Learning Framework to train a model to predict the protein's 3D structure. And finally, the validation will be required. Evaluate the accuracy of your model by using validation datasets or techniques like cross validations. The next project can be done on phylogenetic tree construction. Phylogenetic tree helps to understand the evolutionary relationships among species or genes. And for doing such kind of project, you will be requiring biopython, muscle, fig tree, etc. And this project can be done in following steps. First is sequence alignment. Align your sequences using muscle or cluster W. Then you require to build the tree. Construct a phylogenetic tree using the methods like maximum likelihood or neighbor joining and then visualization is required. And finally, visualize the tree using softwares like PhiML or FigTree. The fourth project can be done on variant analysis. This project can be done to detect the genetic variation which is essential for understanding diseases like cancer and its mechanism and also in the population genetics. And for doing such kind of project, you will be requiring BioPython, ANOVA R or statistical analysis library. You may use following steps to complete such kind of project. Start with variant calling. Identify the variants from the genomic data using tool like Genome Analysis Toolkit. Next, annotation is required. Annotate the variant to understand their potential function impact using the tools like ANOVA R. Then statistical analysis is required. Perform statistical tests to identify significant variant associated with the phenotype or a disease. And the last and the fifth project can be done on the drug target interaction prediction. This project can predict the drug target interaction which is crucial for drug discovery and in the pharmacy sector. You will be requiring BioPython, RDKit. You can also use Scikit-Learn or Deep Learning Libraries. Following steps can be done to complete such kind of project. Start with the data collection. Gather the data on drug compound and target protein first. Then extract the relevant features from drug and protein structures in terms of its structure, physicochemical properties. It's crucial information regarding the structures and its functionality first. Then you can do the model building. Use machine learning techniques such as SVM or deep learning to predict the interactions. Evaluate the model performance using metrics like accuracy. Each of these projects can be undertaken independently by beginners in the bioinformatics with the right guidance and access to the relevant tools and data set. As you work on these projects, remember to document your progress. And if you require any help and support, you can reach to online forums and utilize communities from the networking related to Python and bioinformatics. And if you are interested in working on these kind of bioinformatics projects or have any questions, you may also join our Python programming trainings. And remember, Python programming is an indispensable tool in the bioinformatics, offering flexibility and efficiency for various research tasks. BioPython enhances its capability further, making it essential for bioinformatician and biotech students and researchers. And by subscribing to our channel and engaging in our community, you can stay updated and advance your skills in this exciting field. I hope you have liked the session. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.